Okay, let's see how new Google Spinter Shader works in Donnie version 2. Let's start by creating a cylinder and move it up a little. And now let uh, shader the cylinder for this open shaded window. Set pulsar about 200. Uh, set the size style to Google Spinter and select uh, largest axis for cutting the model. Okay. And click, just click on side button to start the shading process. It's done. Let's uh, check the model a little and uh, start the color back to uh, dark yellow or all fragments to see it clearly. Okay, and now let's compute dynamics first. Check the new option use mass grid as round, very useful for making objects collide with the mass grid. And click on a star button. Okay, this is in dynamics. You can see the cylinder is falling and breaking very fast. Okay, let it finish. Okay, it's done. Let's uh, play back the animation. Okay, it's uh, pretty nice, but uh, the problem is the fragments are uh, too straight, too polygonal. We pulled on it. Uh, Version 2, you can improve this effect using a new feature at Jagginess Fragment. Just select any of them and click on at Jagginess button. Okay, now it starts back to start frame and when playback the keys again, Jagginess has been applied. Okay, much better now. You can see. All this detail, jagginess in the inner faces, in the edges of the model. Okay, a close view of this. Much more realistic now with a splinter. And we can even uh, tweak the strength of the jagginess uh, interactively. Just uh, remove it completely or uh, increase it as much as we want. Okay, we can increase the strength of jagginess, a lot of jagginess now, and play back again the keys. Okay. But one, about one unit is okay for our good splinter. Let's uh, play back the final result with Jagginess applied. Okay, much nice now. Much realistic. And same speed. Good. Okay, this is the end of the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.